Hello and welcome to your story time. We hope that you are doing well. I hope that you are enjoying your day and having a wonderful day. We hope that you are tuned in now with maybe some of your family. Maybe you're cuddled up. Maybe you're relaxing and enjoying a special story with us. Today we are reading It's Okay to Be Different, written by Sharon Pertil, illustrated by Sunjata Saha. Ooh, nice, lovely name. Lovely name. It's okay to be different. We are all different. Do you know each and every person is different? It's true. If everyone looked and acted the same, how would we know who was who? That's a very good question, right? Some kids love to swim and some like to hike. I like to swim. Some like to dance and some love to bike. What? I don't get that. Oh, it means ride. We are all different. Some kids love the color blue and some adore yellow. Maybe pink is your favorite color, like this little fellow. Oh, God, I didn't know boys like that. Some kids love to build towers out of blocks. Some kids enjoy wearing different colored socks. Block socks? It is a rhyme. We are all different. Some kids have blonde hair and light colored skin. Some kids have dark hair and dark colored skin. Look, Mom. Yeah. Some kids are big and some kids are small. Some kids are short and others are tall. Wow. We are all different. Some kids are great at science and math. Other kids choose a whole nother path. Perhaps playing sports or music's their thing. Some kids play an instrument while others can sing. Hmm. I like to sing. Mm -hmm. We are all different. Some kids wear glasses to help them to see. Some kids talk with an accent that's different from me. Some kids get to ride in cool looking chairs. They take the ramp while others take the stairs. Yeah, some kids do get hurt. Yeah. We are all different. Some kids have glasses, crutches, wheelchairs, and slings, but it's never okay to make fun of these things. Even though we don't all look, act, or sound alike, one thing is true. Every child is an individual, a person like you. You should always be kind to those who are different from you because to them, you are different too. Remember, it's okay to be different. It's okay to be you. You were made to be different. You were made to be yeah. you. The end. Yes. Oh, oops. Oh, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. This song? It's okay to be different. Who do you know who is different from you? If you have noticed differences, maybe they have too. What about them makes them different from you? And if you want to show them kindness, what would you do? So that's just some questions to think about. Think about other people that are different than you and how you can show kindness to one another. And, and how um, can you show that you're different? Right, everyone is different, but everybody, right, is yeah. special to God. Mm -hmm. God created every single one of us. He, mm -hmm. he did not create mistakes. Mm -hmm. You are not a mistake. There's nothing about you that is a mistake, whether you wear glasses or you maybe you need to use a wheelchair or you use the crutches or all different kinds of things, boys and girls. I want you to know and I want you to feel secure that you are you for a reason and for a purpose and for a destiny. And no matter what others say or what others do that make you feel less or make you feel that you can't do something, I want you to know that God believes in you. God supports you. I believe in you. We believe in you. We support you. We want you to fulfill 
all the great things and all the great plans that God has according to his plan and purpose for your life. So it's okay to be different. We need to love each other. We need to be kind to one another. We need to support each other. And that's what I want you to take away from this story today. Okay? Yes, we're going to pray. Let's bow our heads and join in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this time and this moment, God. Lord, I pray that these words are take root in our children, God, that it is okay to be who they're created to be. But God, I pray that their ear is inclined to your will and your purpose. God, Lord, I pray that their ear is connected to your heart and your plan for their life. God, I, even now in this moment, I secure their destiny. Let the, not the patterns of this world overtake them. Let not the influences of this culture overshadow and over bear their destiny that is to be rooted and found in you. God, I pronounce truth over their mind. I pronounce truth over their heart. I pray a guarding of their heart, of their spirit. I pluck up any negativity that looks and seeks to take root in their lives. God, I pray that you secure them in your word. You secure them in your ways. God, I pray that they love the things that you love and hate the things that you hate, God. Let us be the example that you have called all of us to be. Lord, even in our differences, let there be unity. Let there be love. Let there be compassion. Let there be, let there be power, God. We thank you for it even now. I thank you that each and every one of our children, our young people, our adults, God, would find their purpose and their destiny and that they would be empowered to fulfill all that you have for their lives. I thank you for it even now. God, I pray protection and peace and health continue to be upon all of our families, God, all of our children, all of our households, Lord. We thank you for it even now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen, boys and girls. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.